Hey everybody, this is Ori from OneScales. In today's video, I'll showcase to you the new Shopify analytics and in particular, how to build your own reports very easily with very little technical knowledge. We're gonna be using Shopify Sidekick, which is the new built-in Shopify AI assistant, which all you do is type in in English what you want and it'll build the reports for you. Before I show you how to build your own reports, I wanna show you how a new Shopify analytics report looks. All you do is go to the left-hand side analytics reports and select any report you want. For example, total sales over time. You'll still have the same date selection, compare selection, but all of the configuration and settings will be on the right-hand column. Metrics are the data you want to see in the table. If I look at all of these metrics, if I scroll down to the table, I'll see the data right here. Shipping charges, duties, additional fees, total sales are all selected here. If I want to remove some, delete, delete, and now in my table, I will have less columns. The rows breakdown are going to be the dimensions. How do I see this data? How will, we, how will I see the data and how will it be broken down? For example, I have each row is a specific day. If I want to change the dimensions of days, I can select month, for example, and I can scroll down and it'll be broken down to less rows because I'll have only one row per month instead of one row per day. The next part is visualization. Above your data table, you'll be able to share a visualization. For example, a bar chart, line chart. Let's say I want to change this and I can scroll down all the way to donut and I can see my data visualized in a different way. The last part is filters. I already filtered the dates. I only want to see my data based on the last few months. I can also click on the plus button right here and I can filter additional information. For example, I only want to see my sales for a specific SKU. So I type in SKU or I scroll down and I can, and I can select it here and select my value. For example, I can select my value right here. If I clicked, in this case, I will only see the data of this SKU being sold. Note, you can have multiple SKUs. You can select other configurations, but this is just an example. Now that you've seen how the new Shopify analytics looks like, let's build two reports using Sidekick. Sidekick is Shopify's AI implementation. You do not need to install an app. It is built in at the top right-hand side of your admin. Right now, Sidekick is only available for the English language and on desktop, but I'm sure it'll be available for more in the future. Here's an example of what I want to do. Show me the sales quantity and amount for customers that have a tag that has the word wholesale in it within the last six months. If I hit enter, it'll think about it and it'll build the report for me. All I have to do is click on the link it provides and it'll showcase everything right here. Again, I have my time frame. I have all of my configurations on the right hand side. And if you note, you'll have the date range and the customer tag contains the word wholesale. If I want to change anything, I can change it right here. If it is good to go, all I have to do is click on save. I can name it the way I want and I can click on save. Quantity ordered by month. I can go to my reports at any time in the future just search for it or scroll down and I can see the report again. The second report I want to build is a conversion rate breakdown report. This is just an example, but I want to see all of the pages that I have on the site and I want to see what the conversion rate is if they visit that specific page. But I want to filter out my homepage. I, don't, I do not want to see my homepage in this list. And if any page has less than four visits, I do not want to see it as well. This is just an example to show you a more complex report built, but this is a great way to understand a little bit better about your reports. I'm going to click on the report right here and I'm gonna look at my data. If you notice here, I have my filters. There's at least more than four sessions and it is not the homepage, the slash, right? It is not the homepage. You can see all my data is right here and I can filter it in any way. I have one more thing I want to add. I do not want it to be from low to high. I want to change it. So I can either change it right here by deleting this and typing in descending, right? Going down or I can select here, right here and it'll change the language. I click on run and I'm good to go. Now I can save my report and we're ready to go. 
These are just examples. I hope this makes sense to you. Very easy to use Sidekick to build reports for yourself. There are going to be two more things I want to mention. Number one, in the video, I will link the documentation in case you want to make more complex reports. You can scroll down and you can see all the explanations on how to build reports yourselves. I recommend first to use Sidekick to build all your complex ideas. And then if you need to manually change the QL or the query language to fit your needs. The second and last thing I want to mention is right now Shopify Sidekick is available only for English language and only using desktop. But the new Shopify Analytics is not available to all stores yet. In the next few months, most likely it'll be available to all. But if you do not have it, you need to wait a little bit. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this helped you a lot. If you have any questions about the video or you need to build a custom report, send us a message. We'll try to help as best as we can. If this video helped you in any way, please like, subscribe, share, say hello. We want to connect with you guys and we'd appreciate if you can share this video to others.